Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Turtle Updates video where we take all the recent Ninja Turtles news stories that we haven't yet covered here on the channel and put them all together into one video. That way we can all talk about what's going on. There's a lot of stories that have built up, so we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go ahead and dive right in and take a look at these. A new evil has risen here. Orokusaki. All right, so let's talk about the Shredder bundle for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2. And this bundle was just recently released a couple days ago. Let's break down everything in the bundle. First, let's take a look at the Shredder himself. And it looks like they went with a 1990 movie inspired design for this Shredder. You can see him right there with that burgundy type color. If you look at him on the side there, he has a canister of ooze that he carries around. And overall, I think he looks great. Just looks like a updated version of the 1990 movie, which is my favorite. So I'm glad they went with this style. When it comes to the bundle itself, what does it come with? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. You can see he comes with two weapons. One is called the Oroku. The other one is called the Saki. And if you look here, he also comes with this small sword here that they call Steel Claws. Next, looking over at his vehicle skin, he has this tank here that is called the Uchi. Utrom. And if you look at the tank skin, it does kind of look a little Technodrome-ish. So they're probably calling it Utrom because of Krang, which is pretty cool. Uh, we look over here and we can see that it comes with a special move that he does called Shred Him Up. It looks like he slides up behind the enemy there and just kind of takes him out. Uh, next, we look over here at the charm. This is something that just kind of hangs off of the weapon off to the side, but you can see it in game. And this is a little Foot Clan symbol. The next thing that comes with the bundle here is this shredded sticker that can also go on the weapons. And then finally, it has this little calling card thing here that like plays whenever you take out an enemy, it pops up on their screen from what I remember. Now, I believe the bundle itself goes for about 2,400 COD points, which is about 20 bucks. Super interesting to see the Shredder here in Call of Duty. I wonder if they're gonna do like a Foot Soldier or any other characters or if it's just the Shredder. But yeah, I thought you guys would wanna check this out, especially if there's any COD players out there. But let's move on over to the next story. All right, next up, we have a lot of Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem news. Ever since the trailer came out, there's been stuff coming out right and left. So let's talk about everything that we've seen so far. First, let's talk about this apparel that's popping up on Walmart, Amazon, and even the Paramount store. And these give us new looks at the turtles that we haven't seen yet, which is pretty neat. Here we have the team all jumping down together. We have Leo in this cool pose here. And yeah, it looks like they're up on all three of those platforms, Walmart, Amazon, and the Paramount shop, which is pretty cool. They came out with that quick. As soon as the trailer came out, all the merchants dice went up. All right, next up, we also have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem cereal that's going to be coming out made by General Mills. We're looking over here on the Marky Devo Facebook. I believe he is a blogger that talks about all sorts of different food related news. And you can see here on one of his posts, Kawa Freaking Bunga, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies is set to release August 4th in highlight of the new movie. General Mills has a new cereal on the way. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem cereal features cinnamon apple flavored cereal puffs with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle marshmallows. The back of the box offers some awesome activities, sadly no toys involved, and then it says you'll be able to find this super awesome cereal in stores nationwide that carry the General Mills brand soon. So no specific date, but just kind of keep your eyes out for that. Now the back of the box has this game board here that they were talking about, and you do get a new look here at Bebop and Rocksteady down at the bottom, which I thought was worth pointing out. All right, so we got even more Mutant Mayhem news to talk about. So over on Polygon.com, and we already did a video on the main topic of the article here, and it was about a Last Ronin video game that's actually in the works right now. Go check out my video on that if you haven't seen that yet. But at the end of the article here for that Last Ronin game, Doug Rosen, Senior Vice President for Games and Emerging Media at Paramount Global, announced something else as well. The article article here says that Rosen said to expect more details on The Last Ronin and much more from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in video games in the coming months and years. And then it says in the near term, fans of the Ninja Turtles will soon see the heroes in a half shell showing up in Roblox in a new game set for release alongside Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. The Roblox game is being developed by GameFam, the studio behind Sonic the Hedgehog's Roblox outing Sonic Speed Simulator. And then it says here's a first peek at that game's take on the turtles and you can see them right there. It's the Mutant Mayhem Turtles, but in that Roblox style design. So yeah, if you're a fan of Roblox, there you go. The Mutant Mayhem Turtles will be showing up soon. No specific date was given, but the movie comes out in August. So I would imagine between then and now, you should start seeing this pop up. And that's not all. We have even more Mutant Mayhem stuff to talk about. Here in the In Spirit Designs catalog for 2023, we can see that they're gonna be doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem costumes this Halloween. You can see it right 
right there, Leo and Donnie, Raph and Mikey. And it looks like these are gonna come in infant sizes, toddler sizes, child sizes, and adult as well. If you look at the description of the costumes, it says jumpsuit with attached belt and self-stuffed turtle shell and eye mask. So it sounds like the body jumpsuit will be designed to look like the Mutant Mayhem Turtles with a shell that you have to stuff yourself with like jackets or like a pillow or something, if I had to guess. And then it looks like it just comes with an eye mask. So not like a full face mask, although it does appear that they will be also selling separate face masks as well if you go further into the article. You can see them right there. And here they call it a child accessory and it says one size fits most. Although I remember the rise of the TMNT Turtles also came out with similar masks like this. I actually have one of them and they're not that small. Like an adult could probably pull it off and wear it. Looks like they will have the weapons available as well alongside an actual shell that they're also selling as well with a belt and all the little buckles with the different initials of the different turtles. This shell here looks like it's also only for children and I don't think that one would be able to be pulled off by adults but we'll have to wait and see when they actually come out. Uh, next you can see down here that they have some trick-or-treat bags. They have one of a Raphael, one of a Leonardo, and then one of a turtle shell. And then as for the Mutant Mayhem stuff, that is about it. There's these ones right here with like a dress and you can tell that they're Mutant Mayhem because of the way the belts are with the buckle initials like that. But yeah, that's it when it comes to the costumes. Keep your eyes out for those. That's it for the Mutant Mayhem news. Let's move on over to the next story. All right, let's move on over to some Ninja Turtles collectibles news. Here first up we have the Diamond Select Raphael Gallery Diorama. This is the second turtle in their line so far. They had originally came out with Leonardo and now next up we have Raphael. And you can see him right there. He kind of looks a little bit like an IDW Comics Ninja Turtle, which looks pretty cool. Let's read the description. It says, a Diamond Select toys release. We're getting the gang back together. Joining Leonardo in our new line of TMNT Gallery Dioramas, Raphael takes his place in the connecting rooftop display. This all new sculpture stands approximately nine inches tall and depicts the hot-headed ninja turtle wielding his twin sai made of high quality pvc it comes packaged in a full color window box designed by kinetic underground sculpted by sandro lewis sampaio coming soon michelangelo and donatello so we'll keep our eye out for those i think it's really neat how all of these are going to connect into one big piece and at a price range of 75 bucks and then being nine inches tall makes it a good bang for your buck in my opinion but let me know what you guys think down below we do have some more statue news though these are coming over here from iron studio First up, we have Bebop Art Scale 1 10th statue, and you can see him right there. He's definitely inspired by the 1987 cartoon, but done in a more gritty, realistic way. You can see some of the details down here. It says material made in polystone. You can see the height there will be 9.2 inches, so about the height of the last one we just talked about, although the material on this one's different. Given it that higher price point, you can see right there that the final product price will be $199. Now, let's go ahead and jump in to the other statue that they're coming out with. And you can see it right here. This one's of Rocksteady. And again, same style. It's almost that 1987 turtle style rock steady, but more gritty and more of a realistic tone. This one's like a smidge taller at 9.4 inches in height and is also at that 199.99 price point. And that's it for these Iron Studios statues. Now there is one more sculpture here that we need to talk about. This one's coming over here from Plastic Cell. You can see right here that they're gonna be doing a foot soldier sculpture. And not just any foot soldiers, it's the foot soldiers from the original 1990 Ninja Turtles movie. They've already done the turtles and the shredder. And it looks like now they are moving over to these foot soldiers here. You can see a video of them crafting it here. And the description on the post says, the Foot Clan, March 26th, 2023. So make sure to go check out their website as I'm sure by the time that this video comes out these sculptures will be on there as of right now of this recording we only have the post here on their insta but yeah that's everything when it comes to the statues let's move on over to even more turtle news all right, we got a little bit of action figure news here. First up, we have wave 10 of the Super 7 figures. You can see they have classic rocker Leo, the Rat King, Ninja April, and Casey Jones. You can see all the images right there. And you can see that for all four figures, the price is 220 and they are in their pre-order phase with pre-orders closing on April the 7th. It says estimated shipping winter of 2023. But yeah, that's it here for the Super 7 figures. There is one more figure to talk about and that's the NECA Last Ronin Ultimate red and black rogue derelict seven inch action figure and this was part of the target NECA holothon event where they release a bunch of stuff they released a bunch of other figures as well that we've already talked about in previous updates videos when we saw them at the conventions last year but this one here we hadn't talked about yet so i definitely thought it was worth highlighting looks super cool let me know what you guys think of these figures down below in the comments but yeah let's finish it off with one last story 
All right, this last one's really interesting. This is coming over here from Jason Eisner's Twitter page. Jason Eisner is a screenwriter, producer, editor, director. I believe he's behind the Dark Side of the Ring series and a bunch of other stuff as well. Anyways, he tweeted back at the end of February, five years ago, I pitched a Casey Jones standalone film to Paramount with Shredder's daughter Karai as the heel. The final act saw Casey team up with Raphael, who was to look like he stepped out of the 1990 film. Here's a tone reel I made. And then he has a link to his Vimeo where he has a video of a bunch of clips of different movies that I believe would have been like inspiration for the look and the feel. Now that's just part of the story. You can see here a reply from Joe Manganiello and he said about 10 years ago Paramount wanted to make something with me and I said I wanted to play Casey Jones. I would have done this in a heartbeat talking about the Jason Eisner pitch. You can see Eisner here replies that would have been amazing but that's it for all the updates. What do you guys think of the latest turtle news? There's so much happening right now in the world of movies, video games, collectibles, the comics. We're going to talk about all that stuff. Stuff. So if you're new, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of it. All we talk about on here is new, old, and upcoming turtle stuff. Thanks once again, everybody, for watching. That about does it for this video. Follow on all the social medias. Links are down below in the description. And I will see you all in a little bit with another video. Take care. Um.